Hi guys, welcome back for another studio series review and this time it will be the Decepticon Frenzy Red Alright, it is a recolor of Frenzy from the other studio series release uh, last year Okay, you do see that here's a uh, studio series art of uh, Frenzy Red Decepticon Frenzy Red, okay uh, Here's from the 1986 movie all right, do see him up close here, all right? Without the plastic, it's just a uh, windowless uh, box view of the uh, character, and you do see the power drivers I, I also included this time. All right, this is the core class, and to on the side you do see the core class frenzy. Sorry, Core Class, yeah, correct. Decepticon uh, Core Class Frenzy box art. And here is the uh, back of the transformation for Frenzy. So from cassette to robot and using his power drivers and with his guns. All right, so this is the cassette Decepticon which Soundwave carries. All right, let's crack him open and we shall get a closer look at uh, what he has or what uh, he, he has in the box by turning the box around we can unbox him okay let's take him out of the box right here all right if you uh, he also comes with instructions all right uh, on how he transforms you can see uh, this is a nine step transformation process also the uh, instructions are quite clear on how uh, things are going to be all right and here is the Decepticon Frenzy uh, okay with the 1986 cartoon uh, uh, what do you call it as a backdrop in the back and also it comes with two power drivers, two guns, and signature guns and power drivers and the robot itself. Okay, this is the twist ties that ha that holds uh this this Decepticon frenzy uh in. This is how the backdrop looks like after you remove the figure. Guys, and here is Decepticon frenzy all right which is in red color all right i think this is the more uh nice color scheme that hasbro has released okay here's a closer look at his face scout okay here's body the decepticon logo on this mid section all right and here's the back He also comes with two power drivers right here to see the uh, detail that uh, Pasbro has uh, actually uh, taken to get this correctly accurate from, for the studio series. Right, he also comes with his signature guns right here. It's just that they are only painted in white color. Right, however, they are nicely done as well. Right and left. Right here. Talk about his articulation. Okay, for his head, you can rotate it a full 360. Just like this. It does also look up and down. The hand does rotate a full 360 as well. It does uh, does not bend on the elbow, unfortunately. Right, there's a extra joint which you can rotate up this way, just like that. I think this because of the transformation. That's why they did not include the rotation. And for the finger, there's no articulation as well. It just goes in like that into the cavity here, which I will show you. Okay, let's raise his arm. Okay, he doesn't have a waist articulation at, uh, at all. His leg does kick back and forth 
and he has a uh, way past 90 degree ankle bend on his uh, knee and for his feet it's just basically uh, you can move it up and down or close it this way right and here's the back of frenzy just like that and for his weapons he can basically pack you can basically pack his weapons here just like that all right this is for the left right here and this is for the other side as well okay so he will look like he looks like his G1 self you can also take this out right here and put it on his hands uh, on his fist basically there's a pack hole here which you can pack in just like that and on the other side as well okay this is how you uh, actually store his uh, weapon okay and also of course at the back let's take it out guys let's see him in his uh, power driver mode so what you need to do is rotate this up rotate this up this way fold the hands in repeat the same process for the other arm all right turn this way the back put in his blasters at the back right here this way okay and take the power drivers slot in into his uh, hand this way just like that all right and you do have uh, rumble with his power drivers right now okay, let's focus out a bit yeah this is how he looks like with his power drivers all right signature power drivers right here so basically you just bend him this way uh, or bend him this way uh, and just position it just like this so like it looks like rumble is pounding something other than the floor all right and this is how it looks like up close here's the back as well Please, let's get our frenzy into his uh, cassette mode just remove the power drivers it's quite tight so be careful okay and turn around and remove the weapons at the back which we have packed in what you need to do now is rotate his head at the back just like this and move it down okay move the hands back this way at this position just like this at this angle all right okay and after that what you need to do is rotate the legs this way move it up fold it in okay fold it in this way fold it like this peg it in right you do see this part here will snap into the cavity at the top okay this one and this one okay let's snap it in lock it into position
Okay, you do hear the click. All right, repeat the same process for the other side. Okay. Yep. And now you have uh, Rumble in his sorry the uh, frenzy in his cassette mode. All right. And here's a front of frenzy, and here is a one one eighty degree look at frenzy's uh, cassette mode. Right guys, this concludes the review of the Decepticon Frenzy Red from the Studio Series. All right, so I, uh, I do not have the uh, sound wave to show you an example on how it will fit, but I do understand that this fits uh, very well in the Netflix series uh, sound wave. However, when you uh, click on sound wave's eject button, it doesn't eject out; it doesn't pop out just like that. But if you do it, do that on the latest release of Blaster. It does work eject nicely. All right, this is uh, Cool Boss 2008 signing out. I will be back with further reviews.